I2 Cost XL, part of the RIB I2 Cost X range, is sold as an additional product to integrate with I2 Cost X Network Edition. It allows the user to live link I2 Cost X data directly into their Excel workbook. This video will go through a demonstration of how to use the I2 Cost Excel add in for Microsoft Excel. We'll start by logging into I2 Cost X client. Firstly, we'll select the apartment example and show the information that already exists within I2 Cost X. If we swap over to the dimension view and have a look at the typical floor plan, we can see that we've already gone through and measured up all the various elements you'd normally go through to create a detailed estimate. Swapping over to the costing view, if we load up the cost plan for the apartments, we'll see that we have all the information in a fully costed sheet and there are quantities live linked back to the measurements taken from the drawings. We're now going to start Excel and show how that information is also now available within Microsoft Excel thanks to the I2 Cost Excel add-in. I2 Cost Excel supports various versions of Microsoft Excel, details of which can be found in the system requirements. Once installed, there is an I2 Cost Excel group on the data tab of the ribbon menu where all the I2 Cost Excel controls and settings are available in one place. We've now logged on to the I2 Cost X database and we can see that all the I2 Cost X information is available. If we now go and open up the task pane, this looks very similar to what it does in I2 Cost X, but fully integrated into Excel. We now have access to all the dimension group information and workbooks, including totals and name cells, rates, constants, and values. Note that if we were using I2 Cost X takeoff with I2 Cost XL, we would only be able to access the dimension group tab. We can easily insert measured quantities from our I2 Cost X dimension groups into Excel with I2 Cost XL. Say we want to use the bathroom measurement. If we drag it in and drop it, just like when creating workbooks in I2 Cost X, we get an insert dimension group function. Using I2 Cost XL, we can determine which revision we'd like to use. We can either choose the current revision, a specific revision, or the previous revision. In the one sheet, this enables us to do a comparison of quantities, workbook totals, or named cells between revisions. We can also specify what zones we'd like to use to narrow down the information. Moving down, we have the option of using any of the various quantities that we get from just one measurement. For instance, we could use the area or the perimeter length or the wall area. We could use the count, the height, or generate the volume. Here, we'll select the area. We can then specify whether we want the information from the I2 Cost X database rounded up to a certain value, or we can just bring it into Excel with full detail and then handle it in Excel ourselves. Finally, we can decide whether it remains live linked to the I2 Cost X database, or if it's just the quantity we're after. Let's leave it as a live link. When we insert that, we can see the figure is now available within Excel. What we've actually done is insert a formula equals X get area. This is a live link into the I2 Cost X database, and if we now right click on that, we can select Show Dimension, just like in I2 Cost X, and I2 Cost XL will load up the drawing and show us the information. We'll be able to identify exactly where that data came from and the quantity that we're using. As well as quantities, we can also drag in workbook values. For example, we can apply a cost of the air conditioning to match with the quantity that we just brought over before. When we're dragging and dropping, we may decide that we want to automatically drop the figure displayed against each I2 cost text library item every time. We can set that by selecting the auto drop option on the ribbon. We can now quickly bring in other figures such as builders margins and ceiling finishes, and we can format these accordingly in Excel as required. We can also do multiple drag and drop, or we can drag and drop various columns like so, where if we bring in the column, it also brings in the quantity and unit of measurement. By combining these features, users have several options available to get the job done quickly. Having live links between I2 Costex and Excel is one of the most useful features of I2 Costex Excel. We can see this through the following example. Say this figure here needs to be changed because of a revision. Let's go back into I2 Cost X. In our dimension view, we might need to get rid of the segment due to the revision in question. Now, if we go back into I2 Cost XL, there's no need to go back and redrag and drop the figures we've changed. 
just click the refresh button and all of these figures update automatically. This is again due to the power of those live links. If we open this pre-prepared example, we'll see just how intuitive this can be. To give ourselves a little bit more space, we'll fold away the i2 cost Excel task pane. This is a workbook that has been prepared already and shows the costing for a building in detail. This example workbook ships with i2 cost Excel, as does the apartment example exf file so users can work through this at their own pace. Here, the apartment cost example has been brought in and we've live linked all the information from the workbooks. If we wanted to, we could also bring in the quantities directly from the workbook. The same has been done for the basement cost plan and then it has been summarized to the project cost plan, giving us a total for the entire project. Because we're using Excel, we can generate charts for an analysis of the information that we've used within I2 Costex. Because the data in Excel is live linked to charts, when the information is updated in I2 Costex, the charts and management data is also automatically updated. If required, we can take this information into the post contract. Say we want to generate a cash flow forecast, the spreadsheet has been done up to generate the normal standard S curves. Alternately, here is a previously prepared report. This shows each month, when it starts, how many months it will run for, what the anticipated cost is per month, the actual, and any variance. From this, we can produce an electronic report giving us a full breakdown of our cash flow, charts, and everything that we've generated directly from the information within i2 Costex. Finally, if we need to send our Excel spreadsheet to other parties, simply press the convert button and this will convert all the formulas to values which will then allow it to be opened by those who don't have i2 Costex L. Overall, i2 Costex L gives the ability to live link i2 Costex data into an Excel spreadsheet, making full management reporting available. The i2 CostXL add-in further proves the adaptability of the i2 CostX range and demonstrates why RIB products are being used every day by companies around the world.